So to find the resonance structure of NO3 minus, we first need a Lewis structure that's very stable. So um, I, I just listed the valence electrons for each of these, 5 and 6, 6 times 3 is 23. And then since it has a negative charge, you actually add an electron, so it's going to be 24. Now you put the least electronegative atom in the middle and surround it with the other atoms. And then um, you just put the charges on each one. Now, usually you want a minimum amount of charges, meaning you don't want more than two, but this one's an exception. Um, this molecule is an exception. Um, so, so since this is the most stable structure, what we want to do is find other structures like this. So whenever you have a double bond, you'll know that you can move it around because, um, well, that's just a common trend. If you have lone pairs and double bonds, you're usually going to convert them between each other, and you're going to move it, um, move it between the other single bonds. So it'll make more sense if I show you it. So for this one, what I did is um, I made this bond into a lone pair, right? And I made, I pulled one of the, or two electrons here, and made it into a double bond. So it, it's essentially like moving the, um, moving the double bond around the triangle. Uh, and, and then the final, final place would be right here, right? Because I had it here, I moved it here, and so the final place would be here. So... Um, all three of these are the same is that we we already um, said that this was the most stable structure so these two would be um, as stable because they're exactly the same except that the location has changed um, so the to ta what to take away is if you have a lone pair and a double bond what you're usually going to do is interconvert you're going to change one into a double bond change the other into a lone pair and let's see, um, the other thing to keep in mind is that, uh, for example, if you just put, um, if you just made it a lone pair, uh, you would end up breaking the octet rule for nitrogen. So always check for the octet rule when you're um, making a double bond or taking it away. Um, and then always make sure to write your charges because they'll usually take out points if you don't write your charges. So I hope that helps and thanks for watching.